the United States Preventive Services Task Force came out with a recommendation against testicular self-examination asymptomatic males. This is a recommendation which has um, been revisited several times by them and, and multiple times they've come out against uh, performing testicular self-examinations in asymptomatic males. Uh, we went back through and looked at the evidence that they used for that recommendation. And we did not find anywhere that there was a cost analysis performed. So the main basis of our study was to perform a cost analysis evaluating the fiscal ramifications of performing a testicular self-examination. We created six practical clinical scenarios based on testicular self-examination, um, ranging anywhere from a patient who comes in with a concerning self-exam at home and has a normal clinic visit with the physician, all the way up to a patient who has a radical inguinal orchiectomy for what was presumed to be cancer. Uh, we also created two scenarios where um, someone came in with a testicular self-examination that prompted the office visit. They were find out, found to have testicular cancer. And then we compared those scenarios to two additional scenarios involving the, a patient who came in without doing a testicular self-examination and had advanced stage disease. We demonstrated that 322 of the clinic evaluations could be performed uh, for the same cost as one missed advanced stage cancer. Um, and then we also sort of estimated that based on the SEER database mentioning that 8,000 new cases of testicular cancer occurred in 2013 alone and around 15 to 20 percent of those would be metastatic at presentation that around 300,000 um, benign office visits could have been performed for the same cost of all the metastatic cancer treated in 2013. So the, the main findings of our study were we did find an advantage for, for a patient who comes in just with a benign you know, normal clinical evaluation. Uh, we were not able to demonstrate a cost advantage for early versus advanced stage disease. Um, but, you know, the, the biggest, uh, I guess, recommendation that we want to come out of our study was, the, you know, to shed light on the USPSTF's recommendation against testicular self-examinations. And we wanted people to sort of think about, you know, the, the fiscal ramifications of that. Um, and see if they they might consider changing it to an I statement, meaning that the, the you know they can't prove that the 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 harms outweigh the benefits of the the test.